Power 96.1, it's Maddox backstage live at our Jingle Ball. The man of the century, Calvin Harris, everybody. Give it up for Calvin. How's it going? Dude, I'm so excited um, to talk to you, man. I, I tell you, one of the highlights of my career in radio was getting to interview you back in 2014 wow. at our Jingle Ball. So, man, uh, it's good to see you again. Thank you, dude. Yeah. It's good to be here. Dude, you've had a heck of a year. You've had Promises with Sam Smith. You've had a uh, song with Dua Lipa. Yeah. How has it been, man, 2018 for you? It's been fun. Um, I also started growing vegetables, so it was huge for me. I got to get yeah. to that. So you <laughs> uh, developed a green thumb. Yeah, 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 yeah. How is I'm, that? I just enjoy nature. Dude, you have some massive, like, fruits and vegetables that you Yeah, that you a lot of the, the fruits I don't grow. Okay. I, I get them imported. You got them imported? Um, but um, a lot of the vegetables, yeah, I mean, why not? Got some land, you should do something with it, you know? I agree. So what... Yeah. Is it like a calming thing for you to do the vegetable? I think it's like it's it's like a balancing thing, you know. If you have the madness of the club and the and the music and you know dealing with labels and artists <laughs> and all this stuff, and then on the other hand you have, you know, watering some herbs, yeah. celery, <laughs> and watching it grow, you know. And also it teaches you patience. It teaches you about you know where how life begins where where we all come from and you know it's it's a great thing the benefits yeah it's it's a you great can make thing. your own and literally you just go out to your garden and you and save money as well <laughs> that's you know, yes which is important to remember money saving is yeah. important hydroponics too you looked into that i mean I not that. yet no nah, yeah. i'm not really that kind of guy but i mean we could that's i think awesome. i live in california so it's legal <laughs> that's awesome uh so what's uh, ahead for you for 2019 uh more music okay. hopefully um i don't know i'm working on a bunch of things more vegetables more music and that's it. Any like collaborations that you can kind of none that I've at? done. Okay. None that I've done. I'm just working on the music, and then once I have that, you know, solid, then um, I like to approach people with a with a perfect finished song, in my opinion. So, uh, when you're finishing a song and putting like the, the the final touches on it, does it take you a lot of revisions to finally finalize yeah, it? Yeah, I'm very slow now. Yeah. I I used to be um, well, I used to spend my whole life in the studio, so I used to kind of churn them out, and it'd be real quick. But now I want to make everything, you know, perfect mm -hmm. in my eyes. So it takes a long time. time. Yeah. And a lot just kind of, sometimes I just go in the studio, I just sit down and just listen to the song all day. <laughs> just and then I, over and over. I don't do anything and then I leave. And <laughs> I, just th I, I just think about it. I don't even do anything. I just think. And then, you know, the next week, maybe I'll be like, yeah, I, I needed to change the kick. <laughs> That's amazing. So when you're putting, like, when you're doing a track, right, you play, you do real instruments. Like, you yeah. use real samples, real guitars, real keyboards. Real. How do you think that plays a difference, like, into, because uh, I hear it. It definitely plays a difference into your music using real instruments versus, like, virtual instruments. Yeah, I think there's a good balance to be had, I think, just with any music. For me, any piece of music, there needs to be some depth to it. Yeah. And, um, if you just use the same... You know, even if you just use the same synth, even if it's an old one, and you just use the same guitar, mm -hmm. you're not really going to get the depth of sound and like that sonic kind of, you know, you can dive into the sound and you can notice new things happening. Like you don't get that with, with just a, a virtual synth. So I like to kind of just layer things. Like also you, you get little like accidents, mistakes happen when you use old gear that might be cooler than what you meant to do. Yeah, so, so it comes out better. Yeah, yeah. I, li I like all that stuff. That's amazing. Any plans for the holidays? You're going back back home to the yeah, UK? Yeah, I'm going back yeah. to the UK. I'm going to see my family and uh, get back for Vegas, yeah. New Year's. Yeah, that's right. You're going to be uh, in Vegas for New Year's. That's going to yeah. be awesome. And then uh, i got to come out and see the show one of these times. I keep saying that. Out. i got to come out and see it, man. I'm, 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 I'm definitely I'm, down. I'm there all next year. Okay. Come out whenever you like. Heck yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Calvin Harris, excited to see him take the stage. He'll be at Jingle Ball here uh, on stage in a matter of minutes. Thank you, Calvin. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you, sir.